Let us ask the saints to support our prayers to God, the Father Almighty, who has made the hearts of his people temples of his spirit.
Old Ecclesiam Tuam Sanctam, Benedicere et Sanctifica Redingeris. Old Ecclesiam Tuam Sanctam, Benedicere et Sanctificare et Consacrare Dingeris. an inheritance and on whose constant intercession in God's presence we rely for unfailing help. The relics of the saints establish this spiritual link and we have the rare privilege of having procured an authentic relics of our petrol saint, Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus, which the bishop shall place beneath the altar of sacrifice. But before them, we shall listen to the letter from the general courier in Rome establishing the authenticity of the relics. It will be read by the Dasan Chancellor in Latin and English. The original text in Latin. Universis presentes literas inspecturis fidem facimus atque testamo nos ab authenticis reliquis que apud nos servantur extrazise particulum ex osibus sante teresia a Jesu infante virginis et ecclesiae doctoris quam interca ex metallo forme rotunde cristallo munita Filo serico coloris rubri, ligata et sigillo nostra obsignata, colacavimus. In quorum fidem, pas literas manu nostra subscritas sigilloque, postulationis munitas dedimus. Datum Rome, excuria generali, di uni octobris, Anno duo milia quindaci. Now the English translation. To all who will read our present letter, we declare and testify that from the authentic relics that are conserved with us, we have extracted a particle from the bones of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, Virgin and Daughter of the Church. 
which we have set in a round metal case, secured inside glass with a red silken thread and marked with our seal. To certify the authenticity, we have sent this letter, signed by our hands and secured by the seal of the postulation, given in Rome from the General Courier, 1st October 2015. Reverend Father Romanus Gambalunga, OCD, General Postulator. We have come to the high point of today's celebration. The bishop will now offer a special prayer to God to dedicate this cathedral as a house of prayer, a temple of worship, and the gate of heaven. Father in heaven, source of holiness and true purpose, it is right that we praise and glorify your name. For today we come before you to dedicate to your lasting service this house of prayer, this temple of worship, this home in which we are nourished by your word and your sacraments. Here is reflected the mystery of the church. The church is fruitful, made holy by the blood of Christ, a bride made radiant with his holy with his glory a virgin splendid in the wholeness of our faith a mother blessed through the power of the spirit the church is holy your chosen vineyard its branches envelop the world its tendrils carried on the tree of the cross reach up to the kingdom of heaven the church is favored the dwelling place of god on earth a temple built of living stones founded on the apostles with Jesus Christ, its cornerstone. The church is exalted, a city set on a mountain, a beacon to the whole world, bright with the glory of the Lamb and echoing the prayers of our saints. Lord, send your spirit from heaven to make this church an ever holy place and this altar a ready table for the sacrifice of Christ. Here, may the waters of baptism overwhelm the shame of sin. Here, may your people die to sin and live again through the grace, through grace as your children. Here, 
May your children gathered around your altar celebrate the memorial of the Paschal Lamb and be fed at the table of Christ's word and Christ's body. Here, may prayer, the church's banquet, resound through the heaven and through heaven and earth as a plea for the world's salvation. Here, may the poor find justice, the victims of oppression through freedom. And from here, may the whole world, clothed in the glory and dignity of the children of God, enter with gladness your city of peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Now the bishop will anoint the altar and sign the walls of the church with the sacred chrism which is one of the three oils used by the church. This is the oil the church uses for baptism, confirmation, ordinations, and for occasions like this. We remind us, to remind us of our priesthood, both common and ministerial. At moments, at solemn moments like this, we are reminded to be mindful of the proper place and use of oil in the church and to resist the temptation of trivializing sacred anointings. May we sit, please? We now anoint this altar and this building. May God in his power make them holy and visible signs of the mystery of Christ and his church.
the bishop will also be anointing the walls of the cathedral and we request those around the walls to kindly shift a little bit so that the movement will be smooth swift the ushers and them will help us in that regard
light of Christ shine forth in the church and bring all nations to the fullness of truth. Christ is the light of the world. He is the light that dispels all darkness and leads us in the way of truth and righteousness. The bishop has now handed over a candle to the deacon to light the altar candles. And as we can see, the lights are on and the other 12 candles of the world will soon be lit to inaugurate the brilliance and festive mood of this house of prayer.
your joyful church be acceptable to you O Lord so that your people gathering in this holy house may come through these mysteries to everlasting salvation through Christ our Lord Amen. the Lord be with you up your hearts let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Father most holy for you have made the whole world a temple of your glory that your name might everywhere be extolled yet you allow us to consecrate to you apt places for the divine mysteries and so we dedicate joyfully to your majesty this house of prayer built by human labor here is foreshadowed the mystery of the true temple here is pray for god the heavenly jerusalem for you made the body of your son Born of the tender virgin, the temple consecrated to you, in which the fullness 
of the Godhead might dwell. You also established the church as a holy city, built up on the foundation of the apostles, with Christ Jesus himself, the chief cornerstone, a city built of chosen stones, given life by the Spirit, and bonded by the charity. We are for endless ages. You will be all in all, and the light of Christ will shine on, dimmed forever. Through him, O Lord, with the angels and saints, we give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them that you do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Seen in a way when Saba was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. May we be reminded that the Holy Communion is for Catholics only who have prepared themselves in our traditional manner. Oridia Sainga and Atabo, so Macandy Catholic, and the Quadro and the Quadro Longo Hoffman, no Suranigi, a Quadro Mania Macena to Ridia. So the reception will be in hands, and we have to check our palms, be prepared for it, and afterwards we'll look into our palms once again to make sure there are no particles there. May we follow the instructions of the ushers as we approach the altar. Those outside should remain there. The Holy Communion will be brought to them there. Anyiga na to ri dia so na aka kai si emebo nambo. 
Kaina anataya bore de asoku cha anye de ka idosi aka anyo ofuma we dosi ocha. Mba aina tasulire de aso anye na anya ni ma aka anye tupu anye wetu aka. Maka ndi no niro ka anyi no lokwa no niro maka na age butela anyi ore de aso ne ba anyi no otito de le Jesu.
the bishop hands over the key now to the cathedral administrator. And the tabernacle lamp will now be lit. With that ceremony over, we shall now, as we already seated, invite other announcements. Before the announcements, a very important ritual will be performed right now, and that is the signing of the dedication certificate, which will be done by the bishop, the cathedral administrator, and the diocese and chancellor. That will be reposed in the diocesan archive and a guarantee that this church, this cathedral, has actually been dedicated. This certificate has been signed and an evidence is now clear that this cathedral church has been dedicated. May we clap our hands together to God again. The words of the certificate, first in Latin. God free dus igwebike ona dei et apostolic sedis gracia episcopus musukaensis fidem facimus et testamor hank cathedralem sante teresia a jesu infante suke solemnite dei glorie eusque populi Santificazioni ad sacra misteria celebranda di catam esse. Anno domini duo milia viginti, die unde viginti mensis novembris. Datum unsuke sub sigilio nostro, mata unis. A secretis ecclesiae parochialis cathedralis consili. Nicolaus Ume, Alte a preside Ecclesiae Parochialis Cathedralis Concilii, Reverendus Eugenius Odo, Administrator Cathedralis, 
Reverendissimus Godfridus Iguebike Onna Episcopus Unsukaensis. God for Iguebike Onna, the Bishop of Unsuka, by the grace of God and of Apostolic See, we declare and testify that this Cathedral of St. Teresa of the Child Jesus at Unsuka is solemnly dedicated for the celebration of the sacred mysteries to the glory of God and the sanctification of his people. In the year of the Lord 2020, on the 19th day of November, given at Osaka under our seal, Mata Unish, Secretary, Cathedral Parish Council, Nicholas Ume, Vice Chairman, Cathedral Parish Council, Reverend Father Eugene Odo, Cathedral Administrator, most Reverend Godfrey Gwebikona, Bishop of Nsoka. Well, we have many outstanding personalities who have come from far and near to pray with us and rejoice with us. May I now invite Very Reverend Father Zacharias Samjumi the Secretary General of the Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria to please introduce the bishops. Your Eminence John Cardinal Onaekon, the Papal Nuncio to Nigeria, Most Reverend Antonio Guido Filipazzi, Your Graces, Your Lordships, Monsignori, Reverend Fathers, Superiors General of the various congregations, Catechists, Knights of the Church and their ladies, brothers and sisters, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today is the day the Lord has made and we rejoice in it. On this day of rejoicing, before we go our separate ways, may I quickly invite the President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, here represented by the Vice President, Most Reverend Lucius Ugoji, the Bishop of Umahia Diocese, to come and present goodwill message to the peop good people of Nsuka Diocese. My Lord. Your Eminence, Your Excellencies, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I stand on behalf of the President of the Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria, Most Reverend Augustine Obiora Akubeze, the Archbishop of Benin City, to extend to you all gathered here today the warm greetings of all the Catholic bishops of Nigeria. It will be recalled that Nsoka Diocese was carved out from Enugu Diocese 30 years ago and erected as the Diocese of Nsoka. The tremendous growth and the lofty achievements of the church in the Diocese of Onsuka in the past three decades are very marvelous in our eyes and beyond every human effort. They are the work of God, to him be all thanksgiving, praise, glory, adoration, now and forevermore. <laughs> On this happy occasion, it is my privilege to congratulate the pioneer Bishop of Onsuka, Most Reverend Francis Okobo, a man of great vision, indomitable courage, and indefatigable missionary spirit. 
as he marks the 30th anniversary of his Episcopal ordination. Your Lordship, Bishop Okobo, as you age gracefully, may God preserve you in his love at multos annus. We rejoice with the Catholic Diocese of Onsoka on this joyous occasion of the dedication of St. Teresa's Cat Cathedral on Onsoka, an edifice of great splendor and grandeur. We thank God who empowered you to embark on this grandiose and magnificent project and sustain you to its successful completion. We highly commend your Bishop, Most Reverend Godfrey Ona, and his venerable predecessor, Most Reverend Francis Okobo, the clergy, the religious, and all the lay faithful of the Diocese of Onsoka for the strong faith, deep love of God, and the boundless sense of sacrifice you have exhibited in the construction of this magnificent edifice, which stands as a great monument of your faith in God. The splendor of this cathedral bespeaks the glory of God and the church, the mother of saints. May your lives and deeds always be sources of glory to God. And as you glorify God in your lives, may he pour his blessings ceaselessly on you. A cathedral is a symbol of the bishop's teaching office and pastoral authority in his diocese. It is a sign of unity of believers in the faith that the bishop proclaims as the shepherd of his flock. In your journey of faith, always heed to the voice of your bishop. For St. Ignatius of Antioch reminds us, where the bishop is, there is the church. May your faith, built on the solid foundation of the apostles, grow ever stronger and remain unshaken, especially in the face of trials, blackmails, and persecution. A cathedral stands out as the church where the, church, where the bishop blesses oils to be used in the administration of the sacraments. All who receive the sacraments are thus linked with the cathedral and with the bishop, the chief shepherd of the diocese. May the bond of unity that binds and bonds you to your bishop grow ever stronger in good times and also in bad times. Above all, a cathedral is the dwelling place of God, a house of prayer. As you assemble here as the family of God, to pour out your hearts in prayer to God, may no petition offered in this cathedral go unheeded. Once more, congratulations. May God bless you all today and always. We thank His Excellency, the Vice President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, for the goodwill message. May I now invite the representative of the Holy Father, Most Reverend Antonio.
widow Philippati to also come and extend his good wish message. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, I am happy to be here in Suka for the first time. I say first time, but I don't know if there is a second time. This is, I am not a prophet. For the first time in this uh, special occasion, in this uh, historical moment, which is the dedication of the new cathedral. I would like to share with you only two simple thoughts. The first, we heard the Bishop Hona speaking about the maintenance of the cathedral which is not only the maintenance of the material building, but also the maintenance of the Christian souls, because the Christian souls are temple of God and built the living church of Jesus Christ. The bishop said that this church was built by faith and prayer. So I would like to say that this church will remain beautiful, will remain a house of prayer only if we continue to live faith and prayer. Nigeria is a big country and maybe sometimes somebody will think that Nigeria is the old world but the world is bigger than Nigeria and we have to look at the whole world what happened to the church in the whole world during the different centuries During the different centuries, many cathedrals were built in different periods, in different countries. And we are sad to say that in some countries now, there are no more cathedrals to build because there are no more faithful, no more priests, no more faith. But this is a lesson for Nigeria to avoid in the future what happened in other countries, in other Christian Catholic countries. Allow me to share a few words of a great man. He said, the spirit builds the stones, not vice versa. The spirit cannot be replaced with money or with history. Where the spirit doesn't build, the stones become silent. Where the spirit is not alive, where it is not effective and does not reign, cathedrals become museums, memorials to the past, whose beauty makes you sad because it is dead. If the spirit does not build, money builds in vain. Faith alone can keep cathedrals alive. alive. These words were said by Joseph Ratzinger, 
Benedict the Sistine. So, I wish and pray that this cathedral remain alive. Alive because of your faith, because of your prayers, because of your commitment in the Christian life. This is the first thought. The second, we are in the, the period of pandemia, COVID-19. And during this period, it may be more usual to take a thermometer and to check our temperature if I have fever. The cathedrals, the churches, the place of worship are like thermometers for the society. Because as you enter Sukkah, you cannot avoid to see the cathedral. It's part now of the city. What I want to say is where churches, cathedrals, place of worship of every religion are respected. The people are free to build them, are center of faith and love. This means that in this country there is freedom, peace, and harmony. Well, in a country, you cannot build a church or another place of worship. When in a country, the churches and the place of worship are destroyed by violence. So this is a sign that this country is in difficulty, is in danger, is losing his soul. So let us pray today that Nigeria can show always to be a country of freedom, of harmony, of progress, because all the places of worship and all the followers of different religions live in freedom, in peace, and together. Amen. We thank His Excellency, the Papal Nuncio to Nigeria. Uh, it will interest you to know that he is also, his office is also the permanent representative uh, to ECOWAS, Economic Communities of West Africa. I will quickly now introduce to you the bishops, after which I will call back the diocesan secretary, Father Kajetan, uh, to come back and recognize the presence of the dignitaries that are here and uh, uh, subsequent uh, announcements. We have here present Most Reverend Augustine Echema, the Bishop of Abba Diocese. <clears throat> Most Reverend Francis Adeshina, the Bishop of Ijebu Ode Diocese. <clears throat> we have Most Reverend Ernest Obodo, the Auxiliary Bishop of Inugu. <clears throat> Most Reverend Peter Okwaleke, the Bishop of Ikulobia Diocese. Most Reverend John Okoye, the Bishop of Ogu Diocese. Most Reverend Emmanuel Badejo, 
the Bishop of Oyo Diocese, Most Reverend Anthony Adaji, the Bishop of Ida Diocese, Most Reverend Martin Uzuku, the Bishop of Mina Diocese, Most Reverend Wilfred Anagbe, the Bishop of Makurdi Diocese, most Reverend Camillus Umor, the Bishop of Ikot Ekpene Diocese. Most Reverend Hilary Okeke, the Bishop of Newe Diocese. Most Reverend Dennis Isizo, the Auxiliary Bishop of Onicha Archdiocese. Most Reverend Michael Apochi, the Bishop of Otuko Diocese. Most Reverend Michael Okoro, the Bishop of Abakaliki Diocese. Most Reverend Michael Ukong, the Auxiliary Bishop of Umahia Diocese. Most Reverend John Oyejola, the Bishop of Oshogbo Diocese. Most Reverend Jonas Benson, the Auxiliary Bishop of Oka Diocese. Most Reverend Anselm Umor, the Auxiliary Bishop of Abuja Archdiocese. Most Reverend Matthew Hassan Kuka, the Bishop of Sokoto Diocese. Most Reverend Stephen Mamza, the Bishop of Yola Diocese. Most Reverend Callistus Onaga, the Bishop of Inugu Diocese. Most Reverend Paulinus Eze Okafo, the Bishop of Oka Diocese. Most Reverend Lucius Ugoji, the Bishop of Umuahia Diocese. Most Reverend Matthew Man Oso Ndangoso, the Archbishop of Kaduna Archdiocese. Most Reverend Anthony J.V. Obinna, the Archbishop of Oweri Archdiocese. Most Reverend Matthew Ishaya Audu, the Archbishop of Jos Archdiocese. Most Reverend Ignatius Ayao Kaigama, the Archbishop of Abuja Archdiocese. Most Reverend Valerian Maduka Okeke, the Archbishop of Onicha Archdiocese. Most Reverend Antonio Guido Filipazzi, the Papal Nuncio to Nigeria. His Eminence, John Cardinal Onayekon, the Archbishop Emeritus Abuja Archdiocese. Most Reverend Anthony Buji, Bishop Emeritus, Inugu Diocese. Most Reverend Francis Okobo, Bishop Emeritus, Nsuka Diocese. Most Reverend Godfrey Ona. Jamie J, Jamie J, Jamie John, and where Jesu. Uh, some bishops were not able to be physically present here, but they sent their priests to represent them. We have Reverend Father Chibu Ike Okegu, 
representing Bishop Amatu of Okigwe Diocese. We have Reverend Father Emmanuel Audu, representing the Apostolic Administrator of Katsina Allah Diocese. Reverend Father Christopher Agev, representing Most Reverend uh, William Avenia, the Bishop of Boko Diocese. Uh, Reverend Father Chrysanthus Ugoji, representing Bishop Ukoma of Olu Diocese. Uh, we also have some priests from the Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria, uh, Reverend Father Uche Obodo Echina. <laughs> he is the Executive Secretary, Catholic Caritas Foundation of Nigeria. We have Father Michael Umo, the Director Social Communications, Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria. We have Reverend Father Joseph Ofo. He is the director of Catholic uh, uh, Social Center in Lagos. I am also pleased to recognize the presence of Right Reverend Monsignor Rafael Ikechuku Madu, my immediate boss, uh, past boss, so Father Madu is there. He, I took over from him as the Secretary General. Uh, we have also in our midst uh, Reverend Father Peter Damien Akunono, Director Magnificus. Uh, I think many of the priests here were trained under him. So I feel we should recognize his presence. Father, you are very welcome. Uh, I also recognize the presence of Reverend Father Omoke, the president of the Nigerian Priests Association. Father, you are welcome. I now invite Father Kajetan Iyi Dobi, isn't it? Am I correct? Father Kajetan Iyi Dobi to now introduce dignitaries of state and proceed from there. Thank you. We thank the Secretary General for the introductions. Before the state and pol political authorities and civil authorities, just a few other ecclesiastical personalities. We have here with us Reverend Mother Anastasia Adike, Mother General, DDL Congregation. We have also Reverend Mother Modesta Abba, Mother General, Missionary Daughters of Jesus the Shepherd. Reverend Mother Mary Claude Ogu, Immaculate Heart of Mary Sisters is represented by Sister Mary Linda Vivian Onwoha. We have also rectors of major seminaries among us. Very Reverend Fathers, Albert Ibenwa, Bigard Memorial Seminary, Enugu. <laughs> Father Bonaventure Ugu, CSSP, Spiritans International School of Theology, Ataku, Enugu. Father Kajetan Ihewulez, CSSP, Spiritan School of Philosophy, ECNU, Nsoka. <laughs> Father Fabian Obi, Blessed Iwenetansi Major Seminary, Onisha. <laughs> we have also Anglican bishops, Bishop Abo and Bishop Sostenus Eze. We are grateful to the Anglican Communion, Nsoka and Enugu Diocese. 
Now we come over to civil and political authorities. We have very many of them, beginning with the governor of Enugu State, His Excellency, Right Honorable Dr. Ifanyi Lawrence Uguanyi Buruburu. We have also with us the Speaker of the Enugu State House of Assembly, His Excellency, Right Honorable Edward Uchenna Obasi. He is here together with the principal officers and members of the Enugu State House of Assembly, as well as other state legislatures. We have former governors with us. His Excellency, Dr. Kwesile Zemwodo, former governor of Enugu State. His Excellency, Mr. Tito B. Okutendibo, former governor of Anambra State. We have a former deputy governor here with us, His Excellency Chief Okechuku Etani, former deputy governor of Enugu State. We have also with us distinguished senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as well as other members of the National Assembly. We have here the Secretary to the Enugu State Government, Professor Simon Otwanya. He is here with other members of the, of the Enugu State Executive Council. We have the President General of Ohane Zendibo Worldwide, Chief John Nia Ngodo Jr. We have the Chairman of Unsuka Local Government, the Chairman of Algon, the Chairman of other local governments, and many other top government officials. We have the Chief Judge of Enugu State, His Lordship Justice. N E M E L U, N P M L U. Sorry. We have also distinguished senator Chuka Otazi and distinguished senator Ayogu Eze. They are also here with us. Okay. So we have also the Vice Chancellor of University of Nigeria and Soka, Professor Charles Igwe, and other university officials. So also Professor Charles Eze, the Vice Chancellor, Enugu State University of Science and Technology. We have Dr. Mrs. Stella Okonkwa, Registrar Veritas University of Nigeria, representing the Vice Chancellor, Professor Hyacinth Ishoku. Veritas University of Nigeria is a Catholic university owned by the Bishops' Conference of Nigeria. And our bishop is the pro-chancellor of both Esut and Veritas. Veritas, they are out there in case we want to make other inquiries. We have also many traditional rulers and royal fathers and mothers. Led by Igwe, LOC, Agoboso, and others. We have also many professionals, academics, industrialists, and many members of the press. And we have all of us happily here. May I now invite His Excellency, Right Honorable Dr. Ifany Lawrence Suguani, the Governor of Enugu State, to please come and dress this hallowed congregation. Eminence John Cardinal Olurufemi Anaikon, Your Grace, the Papal Nuncio to Nigeria, Most Reverend Antonio Guido Filipazi, 
Your Grace, the Archbishops here present. My Lord Bishops here present. Monsignors, Reverend Fathers, Mother Spirits, and other Reverend Sisters, the clergy. Your Excellency, the former Governor of Old Enugu State, Dr. Kwesele Zengwodo. Your Excellency, the former Governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi Okute. Your Excellency, the former Deputy Governor of Enugu State, Ezenwato Kechuku Itain. Distinguished Senator Ayogweze Ebedike. Distinguished Senator Chuka Otazi Baga Baga. The Right Honorable Speaker of the Enugu State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Edward Uchena Ubosi, and members of the Enugu State House of Assembly here present. The Chief Judge of Enugu State, His Lordship, Honorable Justice NPM Mehalon, and other judges of Enugu State here present. President General of Zendibo Worldwide, IK Nigeria, Ikukehe, Chief John Nyangodo. Members of the National Assembly, and in particular the House of Representatives. I can see Dr. Martins okay. And if there are other members I've not seen, please. Former ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria here are present. I can see Frank Mweke Jr. and others. Members of the Enugu State Executive Council, serving and former here are present. Special advisors to the Governor, Chairman Cathedral Dedication Committee, and other members of the committee, Chairman Algon, Chairman of Suku Local Government Area, and other local government chairmen, past and present, Chairman of Enugu State Traditional Rulers Council, His Excellency Igwe Ambassador Lawrence Agobozo, and other royal fathers here present. Heads of commission, boards, agencies, institutions, and parastatters, captains of industries, knights and ladies of the church, mother of our dear bishop, Mrs. Susan Honor, and other Christian mothers here present, members of the various organizations of the church, top government functionaries, gentlemen of the press, brothers and sisters in Christ. Enugu State is in the hands of God. And in all we do in Enugu State, who give God due glory, honor, and adoration, I extend to you the warm felicitation of the government and the good people of Enugu State on this solemn occasion. I am most delighted with the consecrating presence of Your Eminence, John Cardinal on Icon, Your Grace, the Papal Nuncio to Nigeria, Most Reverend Antonio Guido Filapizzi, Bishops of the Catholic Church, and bishops of other sister Christian denominations, and indeed all the clergy here today. I am proudly grateful to Almighty God for making the dedication of St. Teresa's, Cath Teresa's Cathedral of the Catholic Diocese of Unsoka possible, and it is my great privilege to be part of this history. This towering architectural masterwork is a product of divine inspiration and three decades of toil of our Catholic diocesan faithful. Today, it stands elegantly completed under the leadership of our revered bishop, his lordship, most reverend professor Godfrey Gubiko now. I salute the diligence and tenacity of his lordship. I also recognize most respectfully 
the great role of the retired Bishop of our diocese, His Lordship, Most Reverend Francis Emmanuel Obonio Kobo, in the visioning and implementation of the project. I pray Almighty God to abundantly bless all those who sacrifice their resources, time and labor for the realization of this dream. As I behold the magnificence of this architectural wonder and its ambience of peace and spirituality, a strong spiritual fulfillment is invoked in me. I am therefore in union of thanksgiving with the entire Catholic Diocese of Osaka for God's abiding love. I acknowledge thankfully that the peace and unity in the Enugu State are largely due to your prayers and wise counsel and I implore you to continue to avail the state this twin support of inestimable value. Finally, I beseech the Almighty God to grant more strength and spiritual vision to His Lordship, Most Reverend Professor Godfrey Gwewike Ona, and all our clergy in the diocese as the shepherd, the flocks of God. O oh Lord, we are very, very Just a few very brief announcements and we are done. Permit me before that to recognize them, Dr. Adora Umoji, Deputy Managing Director, Zenith Bank, former Minister of Information, Frank Mweke, and most especially, Mrs. Susanna Onna, the mother of our bishop. Some people have been asking us where they could give some support for the maintenance of this cathedral and also for other projects in our diocese. There will be people at the points of reception, especially in the underground of the cathedral, who will receive and record whatever any person is willing to give. Others will also be in front of the Father's house to do the same work. Now, after this, all of us will be received and uh, at various points. The bishops, the major superiors, governors, former governors, deputy governors, Monsignor will be received underground one. The ushers and those in charge of protocols will guide you. Then other top government officials and VIPs will be in the underground two. Priests and religious will be at the topmost floor, the hall at the topmost floor of the Dyson Secretariat. Senior seminarians will be at the middle floor of the same building. The cat keys will be at the podium left, facing the altar. And then the knights, all the knights will be at the podium right. The families of Bishops Honor and Okobo will be at the center of the podium. The choir will also be at the podium left. Ndunemuroha, podium right. Others who are not mentioned will remain in their canopies outside. They will be served there. Those inside the church who have not, have not been particularly mentioned will go out and join any of the canopies of their choice. They will also be served there. When the bishop gives the final blessing, we will please remain as we are till the procession moves out to the front of the church where there will be some group photographs and then when the procession retire, we, will be, we, will quiet, we can quietly then move out. Procession will only be for the second group, priests we will invest here. Please, after the Mass, we are not expected to come to the sanctuary. We can come close and look, but please let us not step on the sanctuary. Ushers, please help us to ensure that this happens. We have souvenirs for this great occasion, clothing, almanacs,
publications, you can get them in front of the Secretariat or towards the gate. Thank you, and God bless you. We have the vote of thanks from the chairman of the Cathedral Dedication Committee, Chief EKJ Asoba, the chairman. Your eminence, your graces, your excellencies and lordships, uh, your excellency, the Governor of Enugu State, Right Honorable Dr. Ifani Lawrence Guani, the former Governor of Enugu State, Dr. Kwesileze Mwodo, the former Governor of Anambra State, uh, Mr. Pitobi, the Speaker of the House of Assembly, the Chief Judge. Please permit me to stand on already established protocol. Good afternoon. May I invite uh, other members of the Central Planning Committee that are here? Father Judo was the coordinator of the Central Planning Committee. I want to just say a very big thank you to all of you for finding time to come here today. You've all been told that uh, we've been on this project for over 30 years. I want to say a big thank you on behalf of my committee to His Lordship Bishop Godfrey Orna for finding us worthy to undertake this uh, assignment. It has been tough, but we have been able to achieve it. It's done. We thank God for his blessings. We thank God for all those who participated in building the church. We thank God for all those who also participated, all the chairmen of the subcommittees, the members who have worked tirelessly to make this ceremony a success. We say a big thank you to you all. We say a big thank you to the examiners and all the bishops that came, traveled from far and wide to come to attend this dedication ceremony. May God bless you for finding time to come and even the Reverend Fathers that are representing other bishops. So a big thank you to all of us because we all did contribute either physically, spiritually, materially, or financially. God will continue to bless you all and grant all of us joy mercies back to our various destinations. Uh, before I put down the microphone, on Saturday, we are going to celebrate our governor at Tunsuka High School just behind here. So you are all invited because it will be under reception for the dedication of this cathedral. Thank you and may God bless us all. Before the final blessing, the nuncio, apostolic nuncio to Nigeria, who is visiting Niger in Soka for the first time, Aina Segala, Deje, Ime, welcome. Benvenuto. Non potrebbe esserci un migliore occasione di venire qui per la prima volta che non questo qui. Abo, mna agi shime kwe. So, so, Aina, don't worry, Italian passport here. I thank all the bishops. Some of them started their journey yesterday to be here today. Bishop Aloya Abu, Nendebe Nendokaya, Bishop Sestini Seze, Uneme, the Emir of Kano, Al Haji Adebayro, would have been here today. His plane was ready, everything was set, but the journey was aborted at the last moment. Just in case anybody thinks I have a problem with Muslims. Adora, I saw when he's, you and he slipped into the place. I know what it cost you to be here. Bishop Okubo was overwhelmed, and Bishop Obuji as well. Some of my brother bishops, usually before the mass is finished, we are in a hurry to leave because of the distances. But we are all here. Unemenu, <laughs> 
nanka hori aje ku gabna bia ma bia nye bondo bishop na ndo fara na echi bu na alta ye mejile zunu nzo ye chuku na alta na jezu nuz udo de rono the lord be with you may the name of the lord be blessed our help is in the name of the lord may almighty god bless you father son and holy spirit go in peace the mass is ended